Teofimo Lopez comes out, does an interview with Boxing.com, reveals what happened in the Norman in the Norman fight, or what the Norman fight, what the holdup was. Also calls out Bud again and says that he opened the fight in Jerron Boots in it. So let's start off with the Crawford shit and get that out the way. He said the Crawford look old and um Burst from a dream all the age caught up with him, which is a joke. Boxing love pushing this narrative. You know, what about his last fights? He looked terrible versus Cleggett. He looked he lost against Jermaine Ortiz. You know, he looked okay versus Josh Taylor. It was more about what Josh didn't do. So um But he's the only one calling out Terrence Crawford. You know, he just trying to work, work, walk his way into a turkey out of chic payday. Would you rather get beat up by Norman or get the bag and get beat up by Bud? Now, he said with top rank being brought into the fold with turkey out of chic's rehire season, he said he under the same banner. So, I mean, shit, like I said before, I mean, T.O. looked like dog shit at 140. He ain't had one great performance at 140. The Josh Taylor performance, like I said, was more about Josh than him. Um, but it's so funny he said, Well, ain't nobody left at 40, everybody lost. A loss don't take everybody away, it don't, you know what I'm saying? That don't mean nothing. That don't mean you still can't lose to Sabriel Matias. You came to the division with a loss, so they should avoid you like leprosy. Like I said before, it's the way a lot of these dudes think. So, a loss really ain't got nothing to really do, do with it. You still should want to go out there and compete with, with the guys in your division. If not, move up by Norman. You know what I'm saying? Um, but his obsession with Bud, I mean, you know, he's a classic uh, cocktail eater. That's what I call him. He was bagging Spence to be Bud. He was bagging, he's jealous, right? He lets you know exactly what it was when he started complaining about how black fighter, how, how Top Rank was promoting the black fighters better than, than him. And that says a lot because Top Rank historically, you know, They've been criticized, and they got, and they, you know, had a lawsuit with Terrence Crawford that they settled, and Crawford apparently got a settlement out of. You know, that they don't promote black fighters the same. So he says he the last superstar top rank got left. Boy, you ain't a star, you ain't super, you an average fucking fighter. You ain't no superstar. If T.O. never fought again, boxing wouldn't cry about it. The media don't like you. I don't like you. Shit, your ex baby mama wife don't like you. Like, dude, it's crazy. He's a very not likable, corny ass nigga. That's just what he is. He's corny. He can fight. I give him that. But of lately, he can't fight. Him and his pops ain't made the adjustment and moving up in weight. You know, so I would love to see Brian Norman Jr. just retire him. But, you know, T.O. Is, is great in dangerous fights. Can't take it away from him. But, um, you know, he don't even want to call it out, but. You know, so it, what, what can you do? People will say, well, he want to jump up two weight classes to fight Bud. Bud want to jump up two weight classes to fight Canelo. You know, but, you know, difference is Bud is accomplished. You know, T.O. is accomplished, too. He ain't undisputed. No matter how much they want to lie and false advertise, he not. But T.O. ain't no, T.O. ain't no draw. Which all accused T.F.E.M. Lopez Shakur Stevenson of not being, that ain't T.O. T.O. don't sell as much as Shakur. He damn sure don't sell as much as Bud. See, they talk about, oh, this, you know, this, that, and the third. Tyson Fury don't even sell. Let's keep it real. Before Deontay Wilder, well, come on. You can you can put Klitschko in the ring in Germany versus me, and he gonna sell. And it's, you know, at that time. So I find it, I find it quite funny how, you know, they put these, oh, can't sell stigmas. And that's because I told y'all these bots... You know, and these commenters and some of these user accounts on social media is fake. Y'all don't believe me when I say that. A lot of that shit be fake. A lot of these, if they, if you got artists that's purchasing streams, and we seen that on uh, uh, on advice from Michael K. Williams before he passed. Hopefully, I said his name right. He played Omar in the Wire, played Boardwalk Empire. He was showing the underground scene about how you know music executives bought streams. Or, you know, labels and rappers or singers and stuff and artists brought streams. So, 
But yeah, that the whole streaming thing is the thing, and they be buying bots, and they be having people come and comment on your videos on social media, creating fake narratives and all that type of stuff, and that's what they be doing. Well, people think I'm crazy when I say that, but they be doing that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, they can't control content creators on social media, and to a extent, they do. If you talk about certain things, they try to you know uh, limit your ad, your uh, your ads. They try to deter you in the comment sections and stuff of that nature. So, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, you know, he seemed to be the only one that want to step up. But he want to pay that because his, 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 his pocket's hurting. His viewership hurting. Now, as far as Brian Norman, he said he want to fight in L.A. He tired of fighting in New York. He fought there nine times. He fought in Vegas four times. And wherever you fought, you ain't been able to sell. Simple as that. So, if it's a problem, Brian Norman from Atlanta, why don't y'all just fight in Atlanta? You want to be black so bad, you want to culture vulture off the culture, hip-hop, why don't you Fortnite your ass dance down there to Atlanta? You know, oh, I don't want to fight in New York. You know, I fought on Thursday last time versus Jermaine Ortiz. I don't want to fight in New York. I mean, it is what it is. Fight in New York. I want to fight in L.A. Like, you know, I mean, that'd be, I heard it's a good place for him. He been from, you know, being from Honduras. They said that he might be able to sell a little bit out there. But, you know, he just want to dick suck off Bud. And that's all. They'll Bud for in L.A. I deserve to fight in L.A. Anything we do, they think they can do it. You know? Bud fight, guess who had to fight? Like a little, like a little piglet uh, stuffer. Face stuffer. Him. And he ain't even got the boss to come into his press conference and call him out. Like Billy Ho did Triple G and Canelo. Like Laura took the Michael versus Canelo. That's how you know he ain't trying to he ain't trying to fight. Let him in the ring and call out Bud and see what happened. He don't really want to fight. When they was walking to the ring, and he said, Here come Bud, that motherfucker started bitching up. He just wanna pay that. You know, and like I said before, a Brian Norman fight, Daddy said they can do it on a boxing voice. He said he, he going to bet his bread on his son. He going to beat T.O. So, I can see T.O. going up there and winning that fight. But, you know, if he don't make the adjustments with, you know, doubling and tripling up and, and throwing combinations, he could be in some trouble in that fight. So, um, they could have fought, you know. And he chose not to because it was on a Thursday. and I mean, on a Friday, not a Saturday, which, okay, cool. We had a fr Thursday fight flop with a... Uh, Jermaine Ortiz, and then you fought Saturday in flop versus Cosette. You know, you fought on Saturday in flop. So, but he said he want to fight in L.A. He want to fight in New York. So, I don't know. He said he said want to try different venues and do different things. And boy, if you don't get your ass in that in that ring and get another title, and then you'll be you know closely stepping to Bud. He said he ain't ducking nobody though. He said he just want to fight somewhere else, and you know. You know, being the B side and dictating something or not being or being a non champion is crazy, but pretty sure no Brian Norman Jr. fight him wherever. You know, he was willing to fight you in your hometown. So I want to, I've been fighting in New York. I want to try. You didn't sell in Miami. You didn't sell in Vegas. You don't sell in New York. you from New York. You're from Florida. Don't matter. Don't matter. If T.O. fight or don't fight again, guess what? We don't care. He said that he felt like uh, ESPN, the top rank, ain't promoting him, ain't pushing him. He the last star they got left. He seemed like he said it ain't like it was in the beginning because they doing all this pushing and you ain't selling. They doing all this, you know, uh, advertising. And you going there putting on snoozers. No matter how much they advertise, people still don't want to see Tiafimo Lopez. You just not it. You're not Spanish. You're not black. Or you're not Mexican, you're not Puerto Rican, you're not black, you're not Asian. So, I mean, nobody really like, you know, you don't have a pe people behind you. So nobody come watch T.O. Nobody watch T.O. Fimo. Your last numbers to your last fight didn't even get released. Your last two fights didn't get released. Uh, or your last fight didn't get released versus Cleget. Shakir Stevenson doubled you up in viewership from the Jermaine Ortiz fight to his last fight. So you saying you the last superstar they had left? I guess you talking about Century Core left. So, like I said before, he do all this talking and marketing, 
and it just continues not to move the needle. Now, he said he'd fight Boots, we won the Nationals, Golden Gloves, we both were 17, and uh, if the people want to see it, I never said no to a fight. I'll fight him. Cool. It makes me no difference. It's not, it wasn't a fight that was on my marquee calendar. If they fight, I will support it. I would even pay for that pay-per-view or go to the bar and pay a cover charge for it. That's a good fight. Um, Boots ain't fight nobody. He fought to fight Kurt Karen Jerk Chicken again. So, I mean, so be it. You know, some people say they cool with that fight. I don't care. But I watch it just because I'm a fan of Boots. I like Boots. People say, oh, you critical. Are you... You can critique and be critical and pop shit and have comedy and still be cool with somebody. Y'all so sensitive. But what make what, what make it hurt the most is I'm telling the truth. Don't pop shit and you ain't trying to fight. I'm going to keep it funky. If Crawford switch up, I'm going to keep it funky. Just like when Spencer was switched up, I kept it funky. A lot of these people feel like you should have a loyalty to people without logic. Like you supposed to be a fanboy. Absolutely not. You know? Y'all still buy Michael Jordan shoes that these said Republicans buy shoes. Y'all complained about it and still bought shoes. Y'all complained about Kaepernick taking a knee. Right? Y'all complained about Kaepernick taking a knee. And then, you know, once they ostracized his ass some more, y'all still went back and watched the NFL. I never stopped. Because what I've learned, boycotts and stuff don't, it don't work. So... But yeah, Boots and T.O. good fight. Boots and Norman a good fight. And if T.O. want to get sparked by Terrence, I hope he he never fight again once Terrence beat his ass. Like, he can never make another dollar in the sport of ring. Yeah, I said it. And I mean it. Not a fan. But hey, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live and drop video. Um, financially, you want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal link in description. The link tree, find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Spotify, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.